Hello and welcome to GeForce, I'm Julian and this is Rich and Nick from Frontier and we're here to talk about Jurassic World Evolution. So I've gotten to watch a bit of this game, but for those who don't know, what is Jurassic World Evolution? So Jurassic World Evolution is an opportunity for, for players to, to build their own Jurassic World. So they get to take control of one of the five islands from Les Inquimertus, from the Jurassic Law, and from there they build up a Jurassic Park where they get to look after their guests, look after their dinosaurs, and progress from island to island, uh, dealing with the various challenges that come with that. I feel like this is a game for everybody who watched any of the Jurassic Park or Jurassic World movies and said, how hard could it be to manage a dinosaur theme park? Well, as the films have been shown, is it really is quite it hard. It looks hard, yeah. Um, bringing the dinosaurs back is one thing but it's managing the responsibility and the issues that come along with that. So the dinosaurs themselves are thinking, being dinosaurs, we try to make them as realistic as possible, and they might try and escape if they're not happy in their enclosures, and the game will throw other kinds of chaos at you as well, whether it's epidemics of disease, power outages, tropical weather, like, there's a lot that the game will throw at you as well. Or your own employees just deciding, like, what if we released a dinosaur to test our security response, you know? Just for thoroughness sake. That's right. For safety That's right. reasons. But yeah, I mean, that just shows the difference between the three different divisions that you play for. I mean, the security division, they are going to do crazy things like that. And you've also got the science division and the entertainment division who they're going to be much more interested in looking after the dinosaurs or looking after the guests. You guys have the combination of like the higher level management, but you can get pretty nitty gritty. Are you designing this to be kind of like hands on or hands off as you want? What's your thinking in the user experience that way? So at Frontier, we've had a lot of history making management simulation games, whether it's managing the dinosaurs welfare, making sure they're happy. We want it to be about the guests as well. They're always a key thing in any park management game so whether it's going to the shops and micromanaging the amount of staff in that shop how much you're selling things it's all about wringing as much money as possible out of the guests that come see the dinosaurs because they're the income that allows you to keep incubating some bigger dinosaurs speaking of the guests uh i noticed that every time they're chased by a dinosaur they make it three feet before falling over and helplessly getting devoured why are they so clumsy they're pretty helpless aren't they i mean it's it's just a fun situation for them to get you know add a bit of drama i think if they uh, yeah. if they topple over and then the t-rex can sort of bear no. down on them yeah <laughs> I also really am intrigued by the way that you kind of strengthen the dinosaurs and the DNA of the paleontology. Can you explain kind of that system to me? Yeah, we wanted to make a game that was scientifically as accurate as possible. So the expeditions that you send out to the fossil sites go to real world dig sites. And the science of Jurassic is always about taking this dinosaur genome that you pull out of the fossils and then adding modern animals in there just to fill the gaps. And then we can use that to alter the base dinosaur statistics. So part of the appeal, of course, is the setting itself and these magnificent beasts. And I understand understand you guys are actually implementing a way to capture these images. Yeah, that's right. We support Ansel in Jurassic World Evolution, which is beautiful. You can get the camera up and use all the settings and make some really beautiful shots, framing the monorail and changing some of the settings and to make it look really picturesque and beautiful. Well, guys, thanks so much for coming in and showing off uh, Jurassic World Evolution. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you guys for checking us out on GeForce and be sure to check out Jurassic World Evolution. In the meantime, we've got plenty of interviews with tons of devs and other hardware makers here at E3. So for all of that, be sure to check out GeForce.